Prince Harry and Meghan Markle weigh up the risks of Columbia tour amid UK security fears. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have weighed up the risks of their Columbia tour amid the Duke of Sussex's UK security fears, GB News's royal correspondent, has claimed. Cameron Walker and Svar Nanansen, GB News's digital royal editor, spoke on this week's episode of the Royal Record podcast about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's upcoming trip to Colombia. Francia Marquez, the Vice President of Colombia, announced last week that Prince Harry, 39, and Meghan, 43, will be visiting the country at her personal invitation. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. She said in a statement, during their trip, the Duke and Duchess will join me in visiting Bogota, as well as the Caribbean, and Pacific regions of Cartagena and Cali. This comes as Prince Harry was interviewed on ITV about his security fears with bringing Meghan back to the UK, which she has not visited since 2022 for Queen Elizabeth II's funeral. The Duke said, all it takes is one lone actor, one person who reads this stuff, to act on what they have read. Whether it's a knife or acid, whatever it is. These are things that are a genuine concern for me. It's one of the reasons why I won't bring my wife back to this country. During the podcast, Cameron said, when it comes to Prince Harry and Meghan, Harry said in the ITV documentary, he is worried about somebody reading something negative about him and Meghan in the UK press, which then sparks a so-called kind of lone wolf attack on them. That's what Prince Harry is worried about here. The Sussex's upcoming trip to Colombia follows Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh, who travelled to the South American country as recently as November 2023, where she even posed with Vice President Marquez. Svar added, the Duchess of Edinburgh has only just really travelled to Colombia, she went in November 2023, less than a year ago. So there is an aspect to this where, does Prince Harry actually feel Colombia for him and Meghan is safer than going to the UK now? Cameron responded, well, Harry and Meghan obviously had to weigh up the risks here and they have decided that they are going to accept the invitation from the Colombian government. I'm sure they will very much be focused on highlighting online safety as well as Meghan with women in leadership and of course, the conference of ending violence against children, which we don't expect them to go to, but clearly the visit is happening the same year that the conference is going on. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are not afraid to embarrass the royal family, a commentator has claimed. Since stepping back as working royals in 2020, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have sat down for multiple interviews about their time in the firm. With their several initiatives, Harry and Meghan are often forced to seek publicity to advertise their projects. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams has claimed that the Sussexes frequently use this publicity to make jabs at the British royal family. He said, They've shown in the last couple of weeks they're not afraid to bring up material that would embarrass the royal family or refer to rifts with it. And that's only a step away from overtly criticizing it. They would say that they're doing their own thing in a way they feel they are best able to do it. What it will do, however, will be to draw attention to the Sussexes and not to the royal family, at least not to the royal family in a positive way because the Sussexes and the royal family have a very deep rift. That's the problem. Harry, 39, and Meghan, 43, are going to spend a few days in Colombia this summer after being invited by the country's vice president, Francia Marquez. Their schedule will include trips to the capital Bogota and the Pacific regions Cartagena and Cali. Vice President Marquez added she is confident the Sussexes' visit will illuminate Colombia's role as a beacon of culture and innovation. It will be Harry and Meghan's second unofficial royal tour after visiting Nigeria in May. The couple spent three days in the West African country, meeting with locals and leaders. While in Nigeria, the Duke and Duchess unveiled a partnership between their Archul Foundation and the non-profit giants of Africa. This partnership will aim to empower young people through sport. 
Harry and Meghan jetted back to the US after watching a charity exhibition match at Lagos Polo Club.